Hey guys and gals, this is Sonic Arrow, and I'm back with the 1 to 1 Chinese tier 10 medium tank. This is the 8.3 test server, and I can tell you that uh, this tank is basically the same as the 1 to 1 in the previous patch where they removed it. I think most of it was done to uh, the heavy tanks. They've changed a little bit of the heavy tanks and some tanks in the beginning, I think. I haven't really been paying too close of attention to that. So the 121 has uh, 1,950 hit points. It weighs about 40 tons. It has a 580 horsepower engine, so it is not a very uh, fast accelerating tank for a medium. 56 kilometers per hour is its speed limit. It's got a turret traverse of 40 degrees per second and a track traverse of 50 degrees per second so it is uh, pretty maneuverable uh, armor 120 on the front 80 on the side 60 on the back turret armor of course with its traditional uh, dome turret 240 millimeters of armor very good on the front 130 on the side and 60 on the back so um <laughs> you're gonna have to find some places where you can hide your turret sorry hide your tank and show only your turret uh, however Chinese tanks don't have great gun depression in fact it's it's not much at all so um, you're gonna have to look really hard for some specific spots where you can still shoot and just show your turret only selection of gun is this 122 millimeter cannon 260 millimeters of penetration 440 damage with a 6.25 round per minute rate of fire it's a uh, much better accuracy than the tier 9 WZ120 0.35 accuracy and it's got better aiming time of 2.7 seconds however it is still pretty bad um, I fitted a medium caliber tank gun rammer vertical stabilizer and a ventilation just to keep the uh, reload and the aiming time low it does have 400 meter view range and 750 meter signal range so that's uh, pretty good even though you're not going to be sniping too much with this tank uh, now this tank is well the cannon is really slow rate of fire so you're gonna have to choose your fights carefully you're gonna have to you know, kinda go in take a shot and leave immediately if you can uh, brawling is you're gonna have to rely on <coughs> bouncing enemy shots because they can usually get in one or two more shots than you can but you do a lot more damage so make sure you bounce their shot and they don't bounce yours and uh, let's get into a replay alright so this is Serene Coast and uh, standard battle course I'm gonna proceed to where most of the mediums are going Uh, I'm not too sure if this is a good idea because the gun depression on this thing is not very good. Uh, in my opinion, I think the T62A is still better than this guy. I think the T62A is pretty good for um, any tier 10 medium tank. It's probably the best tier 10 medium tank if played properly. Uh, but I've only played it on the test server. The only other tier 10 medium tank I've played on the real server is the uh, the only medium tier 10 tier 10 medium blah 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 that I've ever played on the, the real server is the E50M. So it's going to take me a while to compare these properly. He has a gun depression. Well, let's see if I can get a hit on this guy. Penetration. Yep. And uh, hopefully I won't get shot back. They're all shooting at the other guy to my left. We didn't mm. penetrate that didn't work. Oh, 
Looks like a T-62A is charged down the hill. Anything over here? Oh, he's charged down the hill as well. And I just missed my chance because of that bush camouflage factor. Yeah, there we go. Got another hit in on that guy. But it looks like they're pushing really hard over here. And they just took out her 113. Oh! Then the guy is just run away without even looking where he's going. And I managed to not kill that other 121 because his tracks absorbed it all. That's not fair. And here's the gun depression. I'm not gonna go up there where I can be shot at. still got in a shot on me, of course, but the strongest part of my armor is not going to be much of a problem. Oh jeez, and the artillery is aiming at us as well. Ooh. That was a pretty nice shot on the TCC. He flipped around all the way. Now I'm going to have to use the carcass of my ally to tank teammate right here, just so I can survive. There we go. Still got a dead gunner, so... Aha! I shot in on that guy. Got the gunner back in action, of course. And an IS-4 shows up over here. There we go. He's not paying too much attention, and uh, I get a shot in on his side. Oh, come now. T-62A, can you not just... Nope. I guess I'll have to take care of him. Ah, oh, come on. Alright, here we go. Ah! Oh, and the other guy took him out instead. Alright. Uh, I'm not gonna go against the Yagpaz V100. I can get killed in one shot by him. So, uh, I'm probably going to decide to go down. Eventually, I'll decide to go down. <laughs> yeah, here we go. And head down and help out the team, the teammates that are still alive. Artillery is having a great time. I really don't want to go against an IS-7. But he's hiding behind that rock pretty well. Aha, there's an, another one to one over there. I'm hidden from him. Maybe I'll decide to pop out and check out what he's up to. Or maybe that Yak Panzer. No, he's hidden behind a rock. Not paying attention. Oh, I don't manage to bounce. So I gotta be careful, pretty much everything on this thing can kill me relatively fast. One or two shots will do it. Ooh, one, two, one. 
set on fire and he's now dead. Nice shot by the E100. Fosh 155 is going for it. I'm going to have to back him up. And uh, I do a huge mistake right here. 309 damage, uh, hit points left on the IS-7, and I think, oh, I'm gonna take it. Boom! And I don't get away fast enough, and he sets me on fire and takes me out. <laughs> Bless it all. Alright, so the turning is pretty good, but it does lose some of its speed, and I couldn't get away in time. But we managed to win out of this. So, um, no need to look any further. Let's take a look at the results. 931 experience. Thanks for watching. Please press that like button and leave some comments. I'll see you guys in future videos.